So for the first time in ages, I have um, bought the Simply Knitting magazine. I haven't bought this magazine for, I can't remember how long, um, but I looked online and I was gonna get the, um, is it three issues for five pound or whatever it is, um, but I looked to see what was in this month's issue because you always get it a month after. So, um, and in this month you actually get some free mitten blockers and um, you also get the little thumbs as well. And I just thought these would be really good for um, blocking mittens or gloves or anything that I make. Um, if I do gloves then I would just obviously put them up to the fingers so it's sort of like that um, to separate it out. But um, yeah, I just thought that they were really good. And I was thinking of um, making some mittens this Christmas, or at least gloves, or fingerless gloves, or something. Um, maybe the gloves with like the little fingers and then the flap that goes back. Um, so these might come in handy for this year. Uh, there's also patterns in here for the mittens as well. Um, Oh, and a cowl. So they are the patterns that are in this little booklet. And then the actual magazine itself. So I'm going to have a flick through of this. Um, let me just... I'm just going to show you what is in the magazine instead of just flicking through the whole thing. So we've got this jumper that's on the front cover. Um, another poncho style there. I'm not sure, a handbag, a tablet holder, a baby cardigan, and some other bits and pieces, a fox. What is that? I think it's a scarf. Um, so yeah, because the, the me flicking through the magazine, I'm not going to really show, be showing you much different to that. Um, but I just wish that the Simply Knitting magazine, um, I just wish they included top down garments a little bit more. Um, I know that the Simply Crochet one does. Um, obviously not knitted, but <laughs> crocheted. So I just I just wish that they sort of did top down a little bit more because I hate sewing up, as you all know. I've got the heater on, it's freezing. Um, so yeah, that's why there's a orange shadow. Ian's now home for work, it is half past four. Um, or just gone half past four. So we're having jacket potato for dinner tonight uh, with cheese and beans. So I'll probably put the jackets on soon because they will take quite a while. Um, but yeah, I am going to have a flick through this and see if it's any different to when I got it before. Uh, and I might try and uh, just sign up for the free issues for £5 just to see what it's like again. So... I really enjoyed getting this every month and it was just something nice that I could flick through. Um, I sort of go through phases where at the moment I'm not really in I'm not really crocheting anything. Um, I go through phases of really enjoying crochet or really enjoying knitting, vice versa, um, and not doing the other one as much. But at the minute I'm knitting quite a lot. <laughs> um, so cold. It is freezing. It's only, it's two degrees out apparently, but um, I was outside talking to a neighbour earlier on, um, John, I haven't seen him since before Christmas, and um, I was standing there with my shopping, and at first it was fine, like we was talking, he was up at the window, and I was downstairs, and we was talking, and then all of a sudden it felt like my whole body was starting to freeze, it was so cold. So I don't know if the temperature all of a sudden dropped, but here um, there's not been that much cloud today, so I'm assuming the cloud keeps the warmth in, even though it's not warm, but um, because there's been not much cloud today, there's been sun, but the sun hasn't been warm, um, and apparently tonight it's going to drop to uh, minus one, I think, yeah, minus one in London, and... There might be some snow tomorrow. How true that is, I don't know, because um, it's very rare that we get snow. Um, 
unless it's really really cold but normally sort of um, further north than London gets snow and I think they've got snow at the moment so but yeah temperature has dropped so mittens might be in order <laughs> um, I have got a pair of gloves that um, I just shop bought but they've got like pandas or koala koala koala, koala no how do you how do you say koala koala bear what is it is that right koala bear what are you talking about? I've got headphones, I can't hear what Yeah, but how do you say koala bear? Is that a how you koala say? bear. Koala. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. You know when you get like a thing in your head? So it's a koala bear. Koala. Yeah, it's not a koala bear. It's a koala. Koala. <laughs> oh, God. I think the cold's gone to my brain. Um... So yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to have a flick through this now and see what it's all about. Hi guys, so it's Friday, it's the 8th and it is currently quarter past 7. Um, I haven't vlogged anything today, uh, but I would probably will just come on once or twice a day and give you a little ramble. Um, I'm currently working on my jumper, which I am adding in the third colour, so... This was colour number two, one that I dyed myself. And then colour number three is going to be this one, uh, which I dyed myself um, this one too. So, yeah, I have got just a couple of rows in, so not that many. Uh, you're probably not even going to see a difference. But I think there's going to be not as much sort of... Um, black through this one or grey so there's going to be less grey uh, there is tiny bits of grey in there well they're coming up sort of purpley on camera but sort of all here there is some uh, but there's not as many and that is why I wanted this as the second colourway and then this as the third colourway but hey ho um, never mind I'm just going to go with what I am knitting at the moment I'm alternating rows, um, I don't know whether I'm going to have enough <laughs> to do sleeves, uh, but bearing in mind that the sleeves for that colour, I've already got quite a lot in the yoke anyway, so this is the armhole, um, so there's quite a bit in the yoke already, so um, that's why I've sort of kept that bit to one side. Um, what, so you're just using the white? Yeah, I'm just using the white. <laughs> um, and That was an egg joke. Uh, excellent. Ecstatic. <laughs> I've got my cardigan on because it is freezing today. I don't know why it's so cold. Um, but yeah, temperature's dropped. It's Oh, it's actually zero degrees and it's going to be zero... Mm -hmm all night oh minus one and then minus two at six o'clock in the morning so yeah it's gonna be very cold um what else was i gonna say i haven't worked on anything else other than my <coughs> jumper today um oh that's what i was gonna say i'm hoping that i can get at least six inches of every color and that will give me the length that i need um so fingers crossed that will work. Uh, if not, then I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm hoping that this will be enough to do the sleeves and me alternating for another couple of rows. Which, yeah, I'm just hoping that it's going to be enough. Um, I did look through the Simply Knitting magazine yesterday and there's not n anything in there that sort of screams at me that I want to make. Um, the thing on the front cover, I've left the magazine, I've put the magazine over there, the thing on the front cover only went up to a 16 to 18 so um, that's a bit rubbish. Um, it was a really nice cabled top and there is another thing actually in there it's like a poncho thing that looks really nice um, but that is just literally two panels knitted 
and then sewn together at the shoulders and down the side. Uh, so that's really, really easy to do if I wanted to alter it, put a cable in or whatever. Um, I have also been um, trying to think of more bullet journal pages that I could do. Um, but to be honest, I don't want to overwhelm myself with the pages. I did actually find, whoopsie, sorry, you're on my table. Um, I did find my old bullet journal, which I started in 2018. <laughs> um, this is come unglued. Um, but I did start this. And I literally put in the year. I put in, like, memories, goals... Um, YouTube tracker, so how many subscribers and views that I had, whips and FOs. Um, I did start another temperature blanket, but I didn't finish that. Um, I want to do another one of these pages, I think, so print out this again, or even pull this page out. I don't know. Um, I might just print it again. Yarn tracker, how many balls that I've used, and I only coloured in three. <laughs> um, and then into February um, but I was getting pretty fed up with drawing the months um, and I don't really jot down anything anyway so um, at the beginning of the month I had like a crochet tracker I had things that I made in that month so I would put that in at the end any notes events birthdays and to-do list um like what to make and bits but I just think that it was getting a, it was getting a bit overwhelming with putting all of the um oh what can I say the the weeks in basically and I ended up just plain doing it like that and then I ended up doing it like this hey, it's worked. so just really simple and <coughs> I wasn't really tracking anything um, so what I'm going to do is just track what I want what I think I want to track or not doing anything um, and keep it as like a scrappy book type thing so all of my pattern notes so um, I'm writing on this one already which is my fade jump and then the notes that I am <laughs> doing go on the uh, GTA chat so Sorry, I forgot. that's right um, Ian's talking to his no, friends no. on <laughs> Denise, Xbox Denise um, so yeah I I'm keeping all my notes here and we'll just keep that as that so it's gonna be a bit scrappy I'm gonna put the it's yarn tags in if I can and the um, scraps of yarn if I remember so cut a little bit off and put that in um, so it's gonna be scrappy and a bullet journaly tracking type thing so um, that's scooby. how I <laughs> scrappy scooby scrappy scrappy scoop what scrappy dappy scrappy and scooby oh scrappy and scooby Scrappy-Doo and Scooby-Doo. Oh. Scooby-Doo's the big dog. Scrappy-Doo's the little dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the video I sent. Anyway, so I'm going to carry on working on this. Um, I will probably end this here. I filmed a little bit yesterday. Uh, but we'll just see how the rest goes. Um, the weekend, we're not really doing anything. So I don't know whether I'll get anything filmed. Um, but I will show you my progress on this once I've got a bit more done and I haven't worked any on the wrap so I will show you that as well um, did I actually show you it me doing it again I've got it down here oh it's all the way over there now um, <laughs> I've actually redone um, the red yeah, again red and I've got to 30 rows so I've completed a lace pattern part now I just need to do the garter band and then go back into the lace pattern again <laughs> so it's not really much different to when you see it before just check. less stitches <laughs> um, so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed um, and yeah yarn went in the shop today so if it is still there then go and have a look all the links are down below 
if you're interested. Um, I did put uh, pictures on uh, uh, Instagram, put a post on my stories to say that yarn was going in. I have ordered yarn, some more undyed yarn, so I can dye more yarn, get it in the shop. Um, one thing that I want to ask is, would you like or would you prefer if you bought yarn to have a weekly update or one bigger update a month? Um, I know a lot of people at the moment are doing like one big update a month um, and I don't know whether that will be better for me to just dye yarn throughout the month and show it and whatever and then upload it at the end. So yeah, I'm just not sure how to go with that. Um, I, no I was idea. doing weekly before, oh, yeah. but um, yeah, so anyway, that's that. I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.